Weathering, erosion, and deposition are three important vocabulary words. So it's important that you understand the definition of each of these key terms. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks and minerals into smaller pieces. And you can see that this layer of rock has been broken down into lots of different pieces and some of those pieces are very small. But anytime we break down a rock into smaller pieces, we call it weathering. Wind and flowing water can cause rocks to be weathered. On the left, you see how all those rocks are smooth. That's because water has weathered those rocks. It has broken off all the little bits around them until eventually the water has made them smooth. And on the right, you can see how those rocks are broken and cracked. That's been caused by the weathering of the rocks from wind and water. Glaciers are huge masses of ice that can break apart and grind down rocks as they move across a landscape. So just for scale, there's some people right there in the picture, and you can see how big that glacier is. And glaciers move across land, and when something that big moves across the land, it's going to break down and weather the rocks in its path. Ice can also break apart rocks as it freezes and expands inside cracks. So if it rains, water can fill in the cracks in a rock. And then maybe at night it gets cold enough for that water to freeze. When water freezes, it expands, and so it can push on the sides of the rock and actually make those cracks a little bit bigger. And then maybe in the daytime, it gets warm enough for that ice to melt and thaw, and that water can go down into the cracks, and at night when it freezes again, it can expand a little more. And eventually, that ice can break the rock apart and weather the rock, causing it to break apart into smaller pieces. Now this doesn't happen in just a couple days. It can take a long, long time for ice to do this to a rock, but it can happen. And here are some examples of rocks that have been broken apart by ice. Now remember, any time rocks are broken apart into smaller pieces, we call it weathering. So this is how ice can weather a rock. So our next term is erosion, and erosion occurs when pieces of rock and soil called sediments are carried from one place to another. And you can see that happening here in this river. It is brown because it is so full of sediments, and it's carrying them from upstream down the river from one place to another. So this is a great example of erosion. Wind can easily blow sediments across a landscape, and that's very common in the desert. Strong winds are very easily able to carry those grains of sand from one place to another in a desert. So as we saw earlier with our river, sediments can also be carried to new locations by the water from rivers, streams, and floods. And you can see that water is causing the erosion of this soil. It is carrying the soil away from here to another place. The water is eroding the soil. And our final term is deposition. And deposition is the process of sediment, soils, and minerals being dropped or deposited in a new place. So sediments are carried by something like the river, and when they get to a new location where maybe the water slows down, those sediments fall to the bottom, they settle out of the water, and are deposited in a new place. Grains of sand are blown across the desert by strong winds, and they eventually land in a new location. So they get deposited and build up over time into a dune. And so sand dunes are caused as strong winds blow sand across the desert, and that sand is deposited into these hills that we call dunes. So as we've already seen, sediments are carried by a river downstream, but when the river enters a lake or ocean, the water slows down. As the water slows down, the sediments settle out of the water. So that fast moving water is easily able to carry those sediments and push them downstream, but once it slows down, all those sediments start to settle out to the bottom of the lake or the ocean. And over time, the layers build up as sediments are deposited. So you can see here, this deposition of sediments over time builds up layers. And deltas are formed as sediments are deposited at the mouth of a river. So as the river slows down, it dumps all of those sediments 
kind of right as it goes into the ocean. And over time, that builds up until eventually you get this landform of soil that's been carried downstream and it's very rich in nutrients and it's very easy for plants to grow there and it, we call it a delta. So I hope this video has helped you understand weathering, erosion, and deposition a little better. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.